good. You look pretty. Hey everybody, good morning. It is Saturday. It is Coffee with Sheila and Melissa. We actually had a little technical snafu, so I'm out of coffee, so I'm going to be drinking water. But uh, we're just happy to be here with you. So welcome, uh, Reverend Sheila Tillich. I'm so excited. I am Melissa Watkins, Evidential Medium. I know I never introduced myself, um, so that's who I am. But um, so I'm excited to be here today because we've been um, kind of dancing around and talking about on different uh, videos when people have this situation where they get lost. They get lost in their awakening process and they end up like people falling away or moving out of situations they didn't see coming. So I just know that, you know, this is a hard process. And one of the things that I teach in my classes is that this is a, this is a, a journey that you have to take on your own and it can feel a little isolating. No two journeys are alike. And so sometimes when you're going through it and you're losing people or your situation is changing, not in a way that you expected in any way, it can feel very overwhelming and scary to keep going on the journey when you feel like you're just alone and you're losing out. So I think that's really cool that we're going to talk about that this week, Sheila, um, because um, it actually came up in some of the uh, daily card readings that I did this week that um, people are changing, shifting, uh, situations are changing and shifting. And it has a lot to do with the energies that are out there right now, but it also has a lot to do with the ascension process. Absolutely. And, you know, today is actually a solar flare eclipse, uh, December 4th. So that has a lot to do with it too. But it's considered the halo eclipse, uh, which means uh, more of the higher frequency that's out there and has a lot to do with ascension time that we're living in right now also. Yeah, so big energy. So that's why um, I think it's interesting that I've had people coming on and talking about ascension symptoms and uh, many people who have never experienced it before. They've been kind of on their journey, but not sure where they were on their journey. And now they are experiencing the ascension, ascension symptoms, um, things like ringing in the ear, uh, the headaches, the forgetfulness, the out of sorts, the body aches and pains. So it's, it's a journey. It's a journey. That's for sure. So uh, I think it's really cool that, you know, we're talking about it because I know that for many people, they don't really understand what they're going through. They don't understand what they're experiencing. And, um, you know, if you are experiencing physical symptoms, of course, check with your medical doctor. But if they can't pinpoint it, if they can't give you a definitive answer, then uh, then it's probably energy. It's probably the ascension symptoms that are happening. So, um Sheila, could you maybe talk about the solar flare and what that energy is like or what that does to us? Well, it, it has to do with, you know, why we're here, our actual purpose. All of us are do, in this awakening process right now. And, you know, the topic we, we're going to talk about today is letting people go. You know, and what does that mean? And it's a lot of time, as we start to change, we change all that's around us. And a lot of it has to do with the people. And sometimes it's very hard to let go of people that are so instrumental in your life. But we start to change in our frequency. And that, that means that we start to realize that it's time to move on or it's time to let go of certain people because they're not in the same frequency as you. And we talk about that a lot. You know, um, uh, the people that, that are very instrumental in your life for a certain time in your life is part of the lessons that you learn and as you grow forward. Letting people go is painful sometimes, and sometimes it is, you know, it's it's time, it's time. Um, but what I really love, you know, Melissa, about this change in the solar and the halo effect of uh, uh, us and how we're changing, the, a lot of the people that we let go of, you know, down the line, all of a sudden they're being attracted to us because they feel that halo vibration. In other words, our ascension vibration that we have. And they start coming back to us. You know, so it's really, you're not really, you're letting them go at that time in your life. However, it's to look to bigger and better things that are coming forward. Now that's not always the case. And sometimes you have to let people completely go. And that's very painful, you know. But it is part of you moving on. You moving on. 
Yeah. And, you know, I think that that's one of the things I talk about all the time. And, you know, sometimes we just have to let people be where they are in their journey and we let them go with light and love. And, you know, when you can um, step into where you are on your journey, step into what you're going through, step into what you're feeling, seeing, hearing, knowing that is for you it makes a big difference. So for many people, sometimes they don't understand what it is they're going through. And the, the, the key is to get quiet, to get quiet so that you can really tune into your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and your energetic body. Because it's those four uh, different parts of who you are, what make you up, that they're all being affected. And sometimes in our lives where we're being distracted all the time, the distraction takes over, we can't totally understand what we're going through because we're not allowing ourselves to recognize where we are or what we're feeling in those different energy bodies. And so, you know, I talk about um, how we need to sometimes just let people be where they are, you know, in the fear that they're in, in the blame that they're in, in the victimization that they're in, wherever they are on that vibrational frequency chart. And then what we can do is we can love them through it. And sometimes from afar, sometimes pray is all we can do for them. And um, but it is beautiful, Sheila, because down the road, you absolutely might feel them return because they recognized that you're not the same person and what you were doing or what you were going through was beneficial. Because when you start to change with people that resonate with you at a certain level, it scares them. It really oh, scares them. Yeah, it does. It's because it changes the whole relationship, you know, and it, it, uh, it uh, changes the mobile effect. You know, you start to get off the mobile and all of a sudden it's unbalanced and they're not comfortable with it. And either are you. You know, that's part of the frequency <laughs> changing. We have some people on to the morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dana Wagner. Yes, you finally found us. Have a blessed day to you, too. Cynthia, we love you. We love you, Cynthia. And Anne. Good Jacob morning. Speaker. Good yes. morning. And Anne probably recognizes. Um, I hope you don't mind me um, outing you, Anne. But she was talking about having some ringing in her ears that she was uncomfortable with. So. Oh, there's so many people are, and and also, you know, most of us have experienced the downloading effect where we have the ringing in the ears. But now it's like it's huge, and and people that have never experienced it before don't really realize it. For myself, it, I just ignore it. It's because it's it's so uh, familiar to me. You know, I have it all the time um, as far as ringing in the ears, but but more of the tone coming through. So it's just, yes, it's, it's very scary sometimes, but it's part of the ascension uh, and it will pass. And, you know, we have different symptoms too. We have tons of symptoms that are happening right now. And remember, you got to think of your body being recalibrated. The actual, the body, the cells in the body is changing you know, to be able to receive this frequency. And I love, Melissa, how you talked about the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual part about how it affects every area of your life and also those around you, especially those people that you have to let go. So and that's where a lot of them come back when they realize that, you know, maybe you're onto something here. <laughs> that, that's what's really cool about it. Yeah. And, you know, it's so hard when you're letting people go that, you know, uh, you know, and it can be a family member. It can be a sister. It can be a brother. It can be a cousin that was like a sister or brother to you. You know, it can be that best friend you've had for, you know, decades. This is where it gets really scary because you're like, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Because these people who have been with me all this time know who I truly am, are worried about me or for me. So, Sheila, what are some of the tools or tricks we can use when we really feel like the people around us are like hammering us to kind of go back to who we used to be or the old version of us? Well, first of all, we don't fight with them. You know, we just try to convince them or brainwash them anyway, because that's the way they kind of feel that, you know, we're in a cult now. <laughs> you know, so, so, you know, we're being brainwashed. Oh, my God. Especially Christianity. You know, uh, who I was before I was a church secretary and I was a very Christian mother and, you know, wife and all this other stuff. And then as I started evolving, I started changing and people saying, who are you? But, you know, that's part of following our soul's path is that I am here and and what we can do is always come from compassion you know we always talk about that love and compassion compassionate compassionate action what does that mean it means praying you know and also not fighting with them 
And so we change our action, how we act towards them, and they say, oh, something's different here. And they can run or they can join. And most of them run, but then they join later, as I said. <laughs> join later. It is putting love and compassion out there. And we, t we you know, we teach that in IET and all the other stuff that I do. And as a minister, that's what I teach also is about the spiritual divineness in you that you have. And what does that mean? How can you use it? You know, and, and I love doing heart math. You know, heart math is about changing your frequency first because as you change your frequency, then everything else around you changes. And that's where people pick up on, you know, your actions, how you change, and come from a love, loving compassion in your heart center live in a more heart-centered life. And it's hard for people that don't know you that way. You know, they're, they're used to fighting with you. They're used to, you know, acting the same way with you. It's like, but, and, and, and that has to do with, you know, resentment and anger, that things that they still hold on to when we talk about the issues and the tissues. And, and really, all this ascension part is about your changing, your evolving. What are you here to do? So always keep the focus on you. However, that frequency is going to change on the outside. People are going to resonate with that. No, it's so true. And welcome, Mandy. Welcome, welcome, Kristen. Hello. Um, you know, uh, you just said something that sparked me. Um, shoot, it's like gone. But yeah, I think that, um, you know, staying in the compassion, allowing people to be where they are, being compassionate to them. Oh, this is what I was going to say. You know, what it really makes me feel like is the reason that they get so uh, triggered, the reason they get so ticked off is because you've always been the people pleaser. You've always been the one to do the thing they expected you to do. And now you're going, nope, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that, then, then, then that's sometimes when they start to the sabotaging. They try to sabotage you to get you back with the guilt you know, and say you're selfish and all these things. And really it's about self-love. It's about following your true path, you know. And that's where you realize that you don't resonate with those people anymore. You know, the role that you had, the codependency, the enabling, you know, how you dealt with a person, you know, uh, are you really, uh, what type of relationship is it? Is it healthy for you? And that, that's where we start to realize things aren't healthy for us, the relationships themselves, and we need to move on. And that's where it's so important to do the self-reflection, to kind of really go within and really check in with those four parts of yourself, the emotional, the physical, the uh, spiritual, and the energetic, because you can really start to see where you're not getting that uh, reciprocity from that other, you know, from that other person or in that relationship that it's not balanced, because you, nine times out of 10, you're giving, 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 and they're taking, taking, taking. And when you're now asking for something back, they're like, <laughs> What? No. <laughs> That's not how this works. You just do what I want. <laughs> totally. We have Cynthia. Uh, I was a Jehovah Witness for 27 years. Go ahead and put that up on the screen. And someone in my in my house, you know, someone in my house has said I have gone from one cult to another. Well, that's definitely his manipulation, isn't it? Manipulation and control and trying to sabotage. You know, but that's all they know. And that's where you have the compassion. You go back to the compassion is that they do not know what they don't know. However, that's what you're here. You're here to shine your light and to change. You know, and that's what I love about being a light worker and what I do. And also, you know, as a healer, you know, my job is to help you heal. And a lot of people say, yeah, but I want messages. I want this. I want that. You know, that's great. You know, that's when you go to Melissa. Melissa's. <laughs> that's when you go to Melissa. But I do that too. But I do it in a different way. Yeah. You know, uh, my ev evidential mediumship is, is a little bit different, uh, and, and it, mine focuses, and they always tell me it's on the healing part. So when you have a session with me, I will tap into your divineness, your frequencies in your DNA, and how does that change your DNA, you know, and that's what I focus on, besides the teaching, you know, teaching you how to do it, which is great. Yeah. No, Mandy, you know, you're not alone, honey. I actually have a sister I don't really have a relationship with. Um, and, you know, it, it's sad. Um, we were very close growing up, but she is where she is. And I just have to pray for her and send her the healing energy. And, um, you know, just uh, when I see her, I'm cordial with her. Um, but I know that I have to be very careful because as soon as she finds an opening, she's going to attack. So, you know, it, it's just it's a it's a holiday kind of thing. Um, and that, that's the compassion, where the issues and the tissues. I mean, well, this is being healers, Melissa and I, I mean, you, we kind of understand issues and the tissues of what that means. But many people out there might not. And basically, it's 
what's going on inside and how it projects on the outside, you know, and um, I love the healing part of myself. That's, that's the healing that I've been through and Melissa, you've been through and you kind of understand it and that's how we can give it back to people because we've been through it. You know, and yeah, us. and that's honestly, Sheila, it's, it's funny you say that because about three years ago or four years ago or five years ago, however long it's been, um, the original intention that I put out there was, you know, who would who would need me, find me or who would find me, need me, that there would be like a connection between us. And as I go forward on this healing journey, it, that's absolutely who, who is finding me, like who is resonating with me? Are these folks that are really ready to do the work, really ready to do the healing? Because what has been going on in their lives, in their relationships, um, in their situations has not felt good or been balanced, um, has been uh, out of sorts and very, um, you know, unfortunately, some are, you know, very abusive. Some are very uh, egotistical. Some are very... Um, just not nice. And so it's really, really hard sometimes to walk yourself out of a situation where, again, you really know you're leaving that person behind because where they are is where they are. And right now for them, they're not going to change or move on that vibrational frequency chart, but you know you're ready to. And that's where you um, have to be a little selfish and say, okay, I'm ready to make this change. And, you know, one of the big um, gifts that I've given myself in this journey is allowing myself to love myself enough to disconnect where I've needed to. And it's not always uh, feel good and it's not always fun, but it has made the most tremendous difference. Absolutely. It's all about self-love, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's about self-love mm -hmm. because once you have self-love, then you can give it back. Self-love is about loving yourself unconditionally. And also, I always say the warts and all, you know, and, and accepting it. So once you can love yourself, warts and all, you can accept other people, warts and all. And that's where the vibrational frequency comes in, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So Mandy is asking, when you do the IET, can that be physical or is it just emotion? Oh, oh, oh. So... <laughs> Uh, IET is about all the layers of your frequency field. So your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And so, of course, I'm the teacher of that and trainer, and I do all this stuff. But people don't realize that they think that they don't have the ability to heal that, and they can. So uh, an example is I had fibromyalgia, and I said I had it. And now I uh, changed my wording around. It's like I no longer have the symptoms that, that kept me in that, that vibrational field of fibromyalgia. And fibromyalgia is an emotional disorder that goes inward. And that is, there's a lot to do that, but physically the body has to respond a certain way. And it has a lot to do with emotions and how we think and how it actually goes into the cells and changes our physiology. All right, so the physiology, so you can change it, physical, emotional, definitely, and the emotional is connected with the mental part, and the mental part is connected with your divineness, your spirituality, who you really are, why you are you here, that's the ascension that's here, and many of yeah. us are having this. Yeah, and to be honest with you, Sheila, a lot of people um, that I've worked with in this past year, um, you know, they have had, you know, they come in for the emotional or they come in for the mental and then it's like, or the energetic. I mean, really they're coming because it's energy therapy. They're coming in for the energy, but the, the, you know, the other three, it's almost like a, a bonus, you know, the other three parts. <laughs> well, so, 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 so exactly. And what I like is about the scientific stuff that's here now since 2012, you know, showing that the body is much more than just the physical and emotional. Uh, that's the frequency that we're in now. And that's what I teach in IET. You know, is that, what does that mean for me? And a lot of people want to take IET classes, you know, and they want to be healed or whatever. And I, and, and Melissa, you know this, I always stress, IET is about your own self-healing first. It's how it can help you on your spiritual journey as a soul and understanding you, how you tick and why you do the things that you do. No, and that's so important. Emotional. And yeah, and you know, in my, um, classes, which are going to be starting up here in March, in April and May, 
um, you know, I always talk about the science because people want to know how do you connect? How do you do what you do? And so I love that now we have the quantum physics and the theories and the proven data to show that we are all one, that we are all connected and that what we put out is what we get back through energy and energy cannot be destroyed. So there's a lot of research, there's a lot of information out there if you really want the science of what we're talking about, um, because we are, we are all connected. And so, you know, when you start uh, working with IET or Unity Field Healing or Reiki or any of them, it really is about going in and, you know, affecting the physical, the mental, the emotional and the spiritual. But uh, the physical is so important because the sympathetic nervous system, your pineal gland, your vagus nerve, uh, it's all connected. It's all connected. And that is what is taking us into these higher realms, into the awareness of the more, into uh, the dimensions that are out there. So, you know, when we're talking about letting people go, it's because we are now raising into these new consciousnesses that people, if they're not ready, they can't feel, hear, see, and know in a way that we can. And you people to this through the healing, and I've been bringing people to this through the, the, the teaching. So it's a beautiful marriage that we got going on here. <laughs> it's but, it's, but it's all about helping people recognize where they are on this journey. And that if you're letting someone go to, to honor that and know that it's just because you're moving and it's okay. They may move, they may not move, but because you're moving, you can pray for them and invoke help for them in a way that you can't where you are. So it's all beneficial and it's all a collective healing. It's all a collective um, raising of the vibrational field because we're not leaving anybody behind. They just don't know what we're pulling them along with us. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and this this is the time to heal. This this is the time to heal. That's the ascension part. You know, and um, with IET and Unity Field Healing, that is the quantum energy that's here, and that's what I like. And and I like Mindy said that her holistic doctor uses quantum physics to help heal my health issues. Absolutely. So many many of us uh, in the health field, you know, um, uh, do integrative medicine. All right, uh, and that's what I do is integrative, meaning I use both. I, I, I have both backgrounds, so I can do both. And we are in a time that quantum is is huge right now. Unity Field Healing, so IET is about the issues in your tissues, about releasing that stuff so you can be in a higher vibration. Unity Field Healing is tapping into the higher vibration on the 24th multidimensional consciousness that's here. And you also can heal the ancestral lineage of you on your mother and father's side and also your soul side. And a lot of people say, what are you talking about? Well, that's, that's what's wonderful about the quantum energy that's here right now. You know, and, and uh, so we're talking about the, the, the stuff that as we go forward um, during this time right now. This is, this is giving time. It's about you giving a gift to yourself of healing. You know, understanding that's why you're here, right? You listen to these things, you resonate with it, so you are drawn to it. And this is a time that both of us, you know, um, as healers, and this is what we offer to you. We offer this to you, this this uh, tips and things that we know, our wisdom, to help you stay in that frequency, that frequency. So, um, so we have many things that's coming forward, right? Most yeah, of us talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Sheila, you're doing something completely incredible right now, and I might jump on it. Um, you're doing a pay what you can uh, unity field healing uh, session. Yeah. Session number one. And session number one is about realigning that 24th chromosome. That's That unity field is, is awesome. So that that is, I'm a practitioner here, and also... The person that taught me, Dr. John Ryan from Ottawa, Canada, is coming to Rochester in April. So jump on that. There's so many seats. There's so many uh, positions uh, available. You know, so jump on that. You can find that on my website. You can go. Um, and uh, what I really love is everything that's happening now is for a reason. It's part of our growth. And I'm also offering now, I also have a new membership um, that uh, is really in interesting. So I was reading about, you had mentioned it on the Lightworkers Connection Circle, the last uh, one I think we had. I don't think I've missed any. Um, and then you talked about this new subscription that you've got going on. So you can get uh, Sheila 
all the time um, for uh, a nice monthly uh, offering. Yep. You know, everything in fair exchange, and it's very, very affordable. Um, I believe it's fourteen ninety nine a month, and then That's, you get yeah. all of Sheila's meditations, all of Sheila's teachings, all. The- yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So beautiful. yeah, so that's that's called Sheila B's Inner Circle. So you can go to my website sheilasilk.com slash inner circle. You can get that. So we have the introduction rate, the founders rate, fourteen ninety nine. It will be going up into twenty twenty two, right? And this is this is a library of stuff of all the teaching I've a lot of the teaching I've done um, with the Light Workers Connection and also Lemurian Sisterhood. So I'm also a global host for that, which I'm very excited about that. All the stuff going through. Um, so the inner circle is about, um, uh, a membership where you can be in that energy all the time. A lot of people, uh, want to go to my events, all right, and they sign up for them. And I used to be able to provide them with a replay. However, now it's going to be the membership program, uh, because a lot of people just want the teaching. All right. And it, it, this is a private community, right, of, of, people that are, they want to stay in this frequency. So that's, that's what I'm offering right now. So that's, um, Sheila B inner circle, go to my website. Also we have, oh my gosh, 2022 is, there is so many amazing things that are happening. Unbelievable. I have classes up to yin yang. Um, <laughs> IET people are just coming, uh, I can't wherever. keep up with you. <laughs> uh, well, I've got to, well, uh, in, in January I have in the middle of January, I have the uh, intensive workshop here in Rochester, but the intensive is the three different levels, and it's usually Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but what I've done is I have individual classes now. I have all day basic on Friday, uh, all day in intermediate on Saturday, and advanced is Sunday. So if you've already taken IET or you want to renew just a certain level, you can still come, which is great. And yeah, some people that's really can, cool. o- can only afford one level at a time, which is great. So then you can hop into the other classes I have. So, uh, also, in, at the end of January, I'm going to be down in Florida, and I'm going to be doing another class down there, another intensive or the three different levels. So, if you're in Florida, down in the Delane area, you know, come on down and see me there. And then in March, I have another intensive, and of course, I have the Masters in May. That's just the IET. That's not even the Lightworkers or John Ryan coming to town for Unity Field Healing. I am just so excited. There's so many awesome things that are happening in 2022. And it's all about us. It really it's about is. about where we're going and lining ourselves up. A lot of people say, well, do I take Unity Fields first or do I take IET? Well, Melissa, you can answer that question. You know? It's yeah. A, you, you need to heal yourself first. Yes, yes. So I think that we're, we're, wherever you feel like you're resonating, I don't think, you know, I think, but I don't think one is better than the other. I think that wherever you feel you are is where you need to be. Exactly. The quantum energy here is profound. It's profound. And a lot of people are reaching their ascension process through different levels, all different levels. A lot of people that take the IET first, you know, they say, all right, what's next? What's next? What's next? And that's what's great about this quantum energy. There's so much out there. And of course, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a promoter of the Cryon Healing Wednesday shows, you know, so um, of course that. And we have healers on there all the time, all the time, and all different ways of looking at your healing. Oh my goodness. And it's always free. So you can always go to my website and get all that stuff. So which is really, really good. But we should, we're almost done here, right? We really are. So uh, real quick, just for um, any of you who are following me and looking to either um, have a session with me, uh, IET, or a reading, if you are feeling like someone um, you want to uh, get some uh, guidance about the energy around you or uh, connect with a crossover loved one, please. Um, those are there. Everything is uh, 25% off. Holiday 2021 is the coupon code. You just go to um, book now on my website. And also I've just put the link um, in the chat box for my classes because they are coming up. So in March, we will do the evidentiary mediumship. If you are someone that wants to share evidentiary mediumship, if you are someone that really wants to help others get in connection with spirit, this is the class for you. It's going to teach you how to be an evidential medium. Um, it's very intense, a lot of information. 
And then uh, April and May, we will do the intuitive guidance course. So if you're someone who's like, you have a lot of questions, you don't know where to go with them, you feel like you're getting in communication with spirit, you don't really know what that means, or you're starting to pull cards and you need to know more about what to, uh, how to do that or what that means, um, this is the class for you. So the intuitive Absolutely. guidance will be five um, Wednesdays, April to May, and uh, the evidentiary mediumship will be all five Wednesdays in March of 2022. So all of that is there. Um, yeah. So guys, we got a lot going on, both of us. All I can say is go to our websites. The links are in the description box because it's a lot. But if you are someone who's really, really, really looking for community, please check out Sheila's Lightworkers Connection Circle where we get together two Tuesdays a month and we really support each other. Tila, Sheila this, does this, beautiful teaching. This, this is this Tuesday. This and it's about your love light, how to shine your love light. So we're going to be there. And take advantage of my December special, you know, uh, heavy unity field healing, pay what you pay, pay what you can. You know, it's only through December, so you got to sign up before that. So check us all out. We are here for you. Every single, both of us, we, we're here for you. So thank you guys for being with us. Thank it's a you. beautiful another Saturday morning. Coffee was good. The baby didn't cry. And uh, Sheila's technical difficulties were overcome. Yes, finally. <laughs> finally. Sorry about that. We'll see you not next a, time. Not a problem. All right, guys. Have a beautiful day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.